Finding good quality medieval reenactment equipment can be really hard these days. There aren't a whole lot of shops in Australia and buying online can be so hit and miss. I know from personal experience how tempting it can be to go for cheaper stuff and sometimes you get very disappointed with the product. Okay guys, today we're going to do a review of the medieval shop Viking Axe. That's this one right here. So I've been looking for some uh, some good axes that I can use for medieval reenactment. I needed something that was affordable, obviously, but not too cheap. I don't want cheap quality production stuff, especially in weapons. That can simply be dangerous if, if axe heads start flying off or whatever. It, it, obviously, serious concerns can start arising. So. Uh, as I say, I was looking for something that was affordable and something that was practical um, for, for reenactment. And, and this is one of the axes that I've come up with. Uh, and you can see some other videos on some of the other medieval shop uh, products that I've purchased recently. Alrighty, so let's look at uh, some of the features. It retails for $61.25. The actual length of the handle is 51 centimeters. It weighs just 640 grams, which is incredibly light and I think it makes it incredibly practical even for a young person such as um, one of my sons or daughters and uh, I, I find it just really quite a, quite a useful tool um, just around the camp, it's not just a weapon um, you can use this for carving wood, for making fences you can use it um, as a hammer, you can use it for butchering animals uh, as, as well as all the weapon stuff the actual axe head itself is 14 by 14 centimeters now if we take this a, a, a bit of a closer look, you can see uh, the shape of the, the bearded axe. I like this. Um, you can use this really well. Um, and what I like about it is it's a very thin axe head. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that there. I'm just using the, um, the, the viewfinder as a bit of a mirror. Um, but if you look at the, the shape of the axe head, you can use this very easily for hooking shields and for um, trying to get hold of someone. So, for example, in, in the case of a hand, if you were using this um, against someone who, as a, as a uh, I guess, a, if you're using this as a counter strike against a sword thrust, um, then that kind of shape right there is really useful for getting onto someone's hand or arm. Uh, obviously not suitable for something like um, LARP or cosplay, that's live action role play or costume play, that kind of thing. Perfectly suitable though for uh, SCA which is the Society of Cre Creative Anarchism and also medieval reenactment. Be very careful of the particular rules of your group, but I do like this. I think this is um, a very suitable tool to have. I think it's um, really useful. If you look at the, um, the actual profile of the axe head, you'll see it's got quite a good teardrop shape. That means that it's not only better to hold than something that's like a square or rectangle, but it gives you a lot of feedback as to exactly where the axe head is and this makes using it over a prolonged period um, much safer I think and, and not just safer but much more reliable. As a, as a, as a product I think I'm giving this uh, 7 out of 10. And there are a couple of little things I think they can improve on. Obviously this is not the uh, Viking axe of Hollywood or you know the TV shows and that kind of thing. This is much more of a practical realistic um, reproduction of a historical artifact and I really do like that. I, I think that history is important and we should represent history the right way and not in some kind of you know fantasy kind of way which is just not practical or, or feasible uh, because it gives people you know they, they take these shows and these movies as being fact and uh, it, it really does make life um, quite interesting for us reenactors. Righto, um, I find this is really good the um, the axe head is it's, it's applied very well to the the shaft so that's I think quite a good feature because it's less likely to come off. Um, I've, I like these these um, the I like the shafts because they're nice and strong. I've used these before in medieval reenactment and also through crafting whilst on encampment and so on. Uh, I find these very reliable. So uh, honestly guys, seven out of 10, really good product. Uh, okay, 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe and share and I'll catch you in my next video.